गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन ब्लॉग चैनल सो टूडे इज ऑल अबाउट दिस लुक ऑन योर रिक्वेस्ट दो आई डोंट हैव दैट मच फॉलोअर्स बट आई गॉट सो मेनी मैसेजेस अबाउट दिस लुक एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट यू गाइज लव दिस वन इट्स वेरी सिंपल ग्लैड यू गाइज लव इट ट्रस्ट मी आई रियली रियली लव इट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट एंड डोंट फर्गेट If you like this one, what you have to do, you have to do three things. Only three things. One, hit that like button, subscribe this channel, and share this with your friends and family. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here I am preparing my skin with this oil, and now this facial serum. my favorite moisturizer from chorus and after the moisturizer i'm going to use this primer so skin is completely prepared and you can see that this is here is a such a nice glow thanks to the skin care routine i always say that If you have a good skin care routine trust me you're going to look flawless without even foundation or even any makeup you want your makeup to look very nice and clean you should always follow a nice skin care I'm going to start with my foundation daily meets I don't wear foundation on daily basis uh, like if i wear very little here and there uh, but for that uh, look i wore foundation and that was this one it's from the cover girl matte ambition this finish of this foundation i have also talked a lot about this foundation in my previous video and i'm really really addicted to this foundation i just love this one a lot So for the concealer I'm using this one from Covergirl and I'm just using this only just to you know brighten up my eyes So very little So a lot of people ask me why I apply here because somehow my this area get little dark so just to avoid that I always apply little extra foundation here and the lighter concealer also So this is enough for this one and i cut my beauty blender because my son did some craft <laughs> magic on it so i just cut it them and when you cut your beauty blender you will see there is no product inside the beauty blender so this is the beauty blender beauty <laughs> and then i will set this concealer and foundation by using airspun loose powder so i am just opening it right now so this is how it comes with this soft sponge kind of i'm not doing any baking i'm just setting my foundation and concealer but this is how i love to do it because that's how you know it's gonna it's not gonna crease or something like that so though a lot of people don't use powder for the dry skin but uh, i always give lot of hydration to my skin and i want my uh, foundation and concealer to be on place so that's why i love to do this one now i'm going to take big brush and buff it so that's how it's looking fresh face and now it's time for the eyebrows as you know what is my eyebrow routine so for eyes i didn't do anything much uh, i've just used very neutral shade and uh, that was a uh, this one very lightly i applied it on my eyes and then using this from joa beauty it's in the shade upbeat it's a joa beauty palette and i'm just going to place that on 
the previous shade like this. So it's looking quite good. After this, I'm just gonna um, line my lower lash line with this Miss Claire. And now I'll use this black eyeshadow. If I'm using just kajal for every day, and then I always make sure that I apply some black eyeshadow on it so that it will stay all day very, very clean. And I see it looks so bright. After that, I'm just gonna use mascara, and it's from CoverGirl, my one of favorite, as you know. So I want to give you one tip if you don't like to wear falsies. So what you can do, apply two coat of mascara or three coat of mascara, let it dry and then reapply it and you will see that falsy eyelashes look. So if you are in hurry, just do that one. I normally don't wear falsies every day as you as everybody know I'm not very much comfortable with falsies but then if I really want to get that falsy look so I do that and I, it never fails. That's it for the eyes and using bronzer, I'm not doing any contouring. So I'm just gonna use this bronzer. In fact, I like to do this way because it's giving me a prominent line where I want it. This blusher from Wet n Wild, it's in the shade uh, Pearl Scent Pink. I just love this color on me. Look at this. It's so perfect for any brown skin. This shade is my favorite one. For the highlighter, I'm using this Anastasia palette and I'm gonna use Moonstone. This is the optional step. I love to do uh, mix my highlighter with my blusher, and I just don't want it. Just I something is placed there, so that's why I always use that big brush to just buff it. But this is optional. If you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Okay, so now finally uh, it's lipstick shade, and this is from uh, Kissable Cookie Professional, and I just love the shade. It's in the it's mad about mauve and I really really love this shade. This is my daily wear shade. I just love it. I can't recommend this enough. If you want to go for the neutral lips and you are a fan of that brown and you know mauve shades. This is definitely it's one of your shade. Do try this one. You're gonna love this. If you are a brown girl like me, trust me you're gonna love this. Superbly pretty and this is matte finish but trust me this is very much comfortable on the lips it don't get dry don't get chipped and uh, taking it off it's also very easy after having a matte finish because all the matte one it's really difficult to take them off but this is i just just love it okay, so this is completely done and don't forget to lock your bleach makeup red and wild three in one primer water this is i love 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 it smell amazing so I hope guys you like this look and if you do, don't forget to do that three things. Hit that like button, subscribe this channel and share with your friends and family. And I will see you in my next video till the time. Take care and keep smiling.